Hey everybody, I'm Sifu Bodhi. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today we are going to be talking about late summer Qigong. And if you haven't already, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, notifications, bells, the whole dimes and bells and whistles so that I can get the algorithm to pick these videos up and help me to help people around the world change their mind, their breath and their body and live happier, healthier lives. So this time of year is the transition time from the heat of summer, the fire element, to the dryness of fall, the metal element. And so we have this late summer transition period where things start to get uh, a bit damp and yellow and start transforming back where the earth transforms all the life that happened in the summer and things become to move into that dormant stage of fall. So we're going to be looking at a little bit of that fire element, heart, a little bit of the earth element, spleen, and then a little bit of the metal element moving into the lung. But as always, let's start with a few cleansing breaths. So step the feet slightly wider than shoulder width, bend the knees, tuck the pelvis under, lift from the crown of the head. Now with me, take a deep breath in. Visualize gathering white light all around the body as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, pull it down, filling your body, melting all tension down into the ground. In two. And melt. In three. Melt. In four. Melt. And in five. Now, we're going to begin by clearing a few of the meridians, and we're going to start with the heart and the small intestine. This is our fire channel. Then we're going to move to our spleen and stomach, being our earth channel. And then we'll finish with our lung and large intestine, which is the metal channel. So as we move through those seasons in this transitory period. So, right hand down, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, I want you to lead white light down the rear portion of the inside of the arm. This is the heart channel. Flip it over, breathing up the rear portion of the outside of the arm. This is our uh, small intestine. Up over your shoulder. Let's do the same thing on the left side, breathing out down the heart. Flip it over, up the small intestine. Once we get up to the shoulder, we're going to connect to the stomach channel and we're going to breathe out down the sides of the ribs over the chest, sides of the ribs outside the hip and down outside the leg, outside the knee, down over the shin to the second and third toe, and then up the middle portion of the inside of the leg. This is coming up the spleen channel, crossing out to the hip and up the side of the body. We're now we're going to pick up that lung channel front portion of the inside of the arm all the way down, flipping over to the large intestine channel. Now we're in that metal element. Same thing, down the lung, re, uh, front portion of the inside of the arm, up the front portion of the outside of the arm. And we're going to start again, breathing out down the heart, rear portion of the inside of the arm, that's fire. Breathing in, up the rear portion of the outside of the arm, that's small intestine. Same thing, breathing out. Breathing in. Pick up the stomach channel just over the chest, breathing out. Outside of the leg, so outside of the quad, outside on the shin muscle. Breathing in, middle portion of the inside of the leg. This is the spleen channel, crossing out to the hips, up the side. And go back to the arm, now down the lung, front portion of the uh, inside of the arm. Front portion of the outside of the arm, that's large intestine. 
Down the lung. Up the large intestine. Let's go one last time. Breathing out down the heart. Up the small intestine. Down the heart. Up the small intestine. Down the stomach. Up the spleen. Down the lung. Up the large intestine. Down the lung. Up the large intestine. As you get up the top left hand comes up, breathing out, both hands go down. Nice cleansing breath. You know, in my opinion, Meridian Cleanse Qigong is one of the most powerful uh, types of Qigong exercise you can do because you can literally give your own acupuncture uh, treatment yourself. If you know where the meridian flows, once again, yi dao, qi dao, where the mind goes, the qi follows. You connect to the movement of that energy down, you can help the promotion of energy through the meridian healing your body. It is really that simple. So let's get into some physical training exercises. Now you got to think of digestion. This in the, the earth elements, all about digestion. It's about turning the food we eat into us, transforming and transporting it around the bottle. They call it TNT in Chinese medicine. Um, and so you got to think of that long pipe going down the esophagus to the stomach, to the small intestine, to the large intestine and out. This is a long pipe. And so there's lots of twists and turns and curves. And the exercises, funny enough, that deal with digestion all have this very twist and turny and kind of loopy kind of uh, physicality to them. So uh, these are really fun to do. So we're going to start with the left hand in front of the tummy, right hand. We're going to have the pinky facing forward. And we're going to be visualizing a figure eight on the ground in front of us. And each time the edge of the figure eight is going to come back to the lower dantian. So we're going to start with the pinky facing forward. And we're going to go around through the middle of the figure eight, around the outside of the figure eight, through the middle of the figure eight, and back in front of the tummy. And we're going to breathe nice and easy. Keep your mind and your eyes focused on that figure eight breathing. I'm going to give you a few times to get that right hand moving properly. Through the middle, around the outside, through the middle, around the inside. Couple more. Let's try the left. Pinky, through the middle, around the outside through the middle, around the inside. Breathe. Visualizing, cleaning any blockages and stoppages through that long digestive pipe. Now on this next swoop, let's change hands. We're gonna alternate now. Outside, through the middle, inside. Switch, outside, through the middle, inside. Switch, nice easy breath. Lots of great brain gym today. Anytime you cross that middle line, it's amazing how that Right and left hemisphere have to talk to each other. Activate that corpus callosum, bridge between both hemispheres. Now we're going to stop here. Now I'm going to challenge you. We want this moving simultaneously. So 
Once we get one done and it starts coming through the middle, we're going to start the opposite. And now the two hands are going to move simultaneously, but in the opposite direction. Breathing nice and easy through the middle, around the outside, through the middle, around the outside, through the middle, around the outside, through the middle, around the outside. Now, if you totally get messed up and you can't do both hands at once, it's totally okay to just keep alternating or do a few on one side, do a few on the other. It is totally up to you. No one's keeping score. Breathe nice and easy. Keep your body relaxed and shift. Just a few more. And coming back down to Dantian. Cleansing breath. So fun. Let's uh, sample from uh, Wuji Qigong. Let's sample Chan, another really twist and uh, turny guy, really kind of fun. So big stance. Let's breathe in, circle the arms around. Breathing out, twist. Pull those fingertips back. Breathing in, fan it in and around. Breathe out and stretch it out, stretch. Breathe in, pull it back. Breathe out, we're gonna push down. Clearing everything down. And we'll sink into our legs. And we'll go again, breathing in. Breathing out. Fan. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out, sink. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, stretch, breathing in, breathing out, sink. Let's do one more, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Push yourself back up. Cleansing breath, breathing in. And out. Two more. And out. Last one. Now we're going to drop down onto one knee here. I'm going to teach you a very simple little acupuncture point, one of the most powerful acupuncture points and used for any kind of pathology, any kind of deficiency in the body because it's a tonifying point, it's a strengthening point. Um, and it's the earth point on the earth channel, which is called stomach 36. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to find your kneecap, the bottom of your kneecap, and you're just going to place your fingers, so the top of your fingers and the bottom of your kneecap. And then if you go to the bottom side there, you're going to feel a little notch, a little depression in your shin, in your tibia. And this is actually where your quadricep muscle attaches to the, the tibial bone. Now, if you feel that little notch and you move just outside, lateral to that, you'll feel your anterior tibialis muscle. So what we're basically measuring is we're measuring one finger width lateral to that little bony prominence there. And that's where we'll find stomach 36. And this is a great point for digestion, great point for strengthening if you're having any constipation or diarrhea, if you're having low energy, um, if you're feeling anxious, um, or if you're just getting over a cold, or if you have a cold, great to strengthen your immune system, just giving a nice little massage here, really, really great. Doesn't matter which side, you can do either side, we're going to do both sides today. Give a nice little massage on that point while you take some nice gentle breaths. Something you can do anytime, you don't have to push hard. 10 out of 10 is as hard as you can push. Two out of 10, more than enough. Let's do the other side. Okay, so once again, find the kneecap. Place the fingers just below the kneecap. So it's right at the edge. 
when you find the bottom there, you'll find that little depression there. There's a little, a little bump there. So you're just below that bump. Take a finger and measure, right, push it right beside your tibia bone. And then outside there, that's where you're gonna find stomach 36. It's at the height, the peak of the anterior tibialis muscle. And we'll give a nice little massage there. So good for the body. If you're sitting in a chair, you could do both at the same time. It's totally cool. One at a time is totally fine as well. Give a nice little massage. Really, really effective. And so helpful for digestion. Okay, let's come back up to the feet. One last cleansing breath and then finish off with one last exercise for the spleen and stomach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the left foot out, 90. Turn the right foot in, 45. So kind of like we're walking off in this direction. And we're gonna sit back into the right leg so our head our hip and our right heel are in alignment. We're not leaning back, okay? So we're in alignment here. And we're gonna start with the right hand on the spleen, that's on your left side, and the left hand in front of your mouth because spleen and stomach open to the mouth. So we're gonna take a breath in here. And as we breathe out, we're gonna clear down the stomach channel. And once we pass the knee, we're gonna lunge forward, pushing forward, and we're gonna arc the arms out up to shoulder height. And then we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna come up the spleen channel, coming up the inside, coming back up. That's where we start. So we breathe out. Breathe in. Sinking back. Breathe out, down the stomach. Breathe in, up the spleen. Breathe out, clearing. Breathe in. And here they always visualize that an earthen pot, a clay pot, that you're cleaning a clay pot. Something traditionally we'd carry food in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last two. Breathing in, up the spleen. Down the stomach. Breathing in, up the spleen. And breathing out, down the stomach. Good, stepping forward, cleansing breath. Deep breath in. And out, bring your feet together. Finishing off, gather. And melt. Turn 45 right, gather. And melt. 45 left, gather. Ninety right, gather. Ninety left. One more time out to the side, gather the light. And pulling it down, melting over your body. At the bottom, raise a little wisdom water of the kidney. Turning over, wash down the heart fire. Breathing in. And breathing out. So, well done. 
Well, guys, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed our late summer Qigong. Uh, remember, we try to put up a new program every single week of the year, and I am open to suggestions. If you have a different pathology, an illness, a pain in your body, mental, physically, emotional, breathing, whatever it is, uh, shoot, me a, shoot me a message. Uh, I'm happy to create programs uh, for whatever is needed out there. I really try to, to make these programs both specific but diverse in nature. Um, I try to tackle every subject under the sun, so I'm here for you. I'm here to take care of you guys. Excuse me. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys.